So, you've been scrolling on social media, seeing all these cool videos filled with 3D text effects. But how do you actually create them? Well, we're doing that with something called 3D camera tracking. Let me show you how you can easily create something cool like this right here. Inside After Effects, you have the tracker panel and four main buttons. I want to use the track camera button, which will literally track the camera movement of the shot. If you want to know more about the other buttons, like motion tracking, check out the link in the description down below. So hit the camera track button and After Effects starts doing its thing and voila it tracked our shot easy as that i can now add stuff like text or other elements now a bonus tip remember the focal length you used for your shot it can come in handy later on but okay i have my footage let's again hit that camera track button now while after effects is analyzing you can see there are a lot of settings but let me break them down for you the first one is the shot type and has everything to do with focal lengths the default setting is fixed angle of view here after effects will try to guess the focal length i use while shooting. This will be the setting you use most. The next one is the variable zoom and I think this is quite self-explanatory. When you zoom during your shot, this is the setting you want. And then there's the specify angle of view. This is where that bonus tip comes in handy, knowing the focal length of your shot. Within this setting, I can feed the correct focal length. However, After Effects is special and doesn't want the focal length. It wants the horizontal angle of view, meaning I first need to do some math or I can let the internet do the work for me. I left a website down below Below, which will save you from doing the mad stuff. With the correct horizontal angle of view, I can help After Effects so he doesn't need to guess. So I picked my shot type and in the meantime, After Effects is done with analyzing. And now I can see all these tracking points over my shot. These are all the points After Effects use to calculate the camera movement. Now with the settings, I have this render track points button. It will make the tracking points permanently visible, even when the effect is not selected and it will let me render them together with my shot. Don't know why this would be handy, except except for me to make thumbnails. Now, Jenik actually went to France to take these shots, but he forgot to charge his battery. He lost so much time and I told him he should have used Storyblocks. You can just type in whatever you need and boom, endless results without leaving After Effects. Storyblocks is also sponsoring this video. Thank you so much. Storyblocks' curated stock library has everything you need to produce high quality video in one place. With over a million 4K and HD footage, templates, music, sound effects, images, and more, you can download unlimited high quality assets for one predictable subscription cost. You can say goodbye to paperclip pricing. Enhance your social media video by accessing exclusive Storyblocks label music tracks directly in TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Storyblocks will keep you protected from copyright strikes so that you can focus on actually creating. Besides that, you can save hours by using pre-made motion graphic templates for After Effects, Premiere, Apple Motion, and DaVinci Resolve. To get started with unlimited stock media downloads at one one set price, head over to starblogs.com slash After Effects Basics or just click the link down below. And now Jenik is going to tell you more about 3D tracking. Okay, let's continue with the track point and the target size. This will let me control the size of both, which is sometimes necessary in bigger scenes. But what the heck is a target? Well, when I hover over the tracking points, I can see this red target circle, an indication of how After Effects sees the direction of the corresponding points. But let's continue with the other buttons before we do an actual tracking. The next button is create a camera. Pretty obvious, of course, but don't hit that just yet. Let's first have a look at the advanced settings. The solve method a sort of indication for After Effects what movement to expect. The auto detect is again a guessing game and will work most of the time. The typical option is a more overall method where I have a random movement with a lot of different elements in my shot. This is the one I use most of the time. Mostly flat is for flat or planar shots and a tripod pan is for purely rotational movements. But now one of the most important settings, the average error number. This will tell us how good our tracking really Really is. The lower, the better. The other three settings you can ignore except for the detailed analysis. This is like a sheet code for tracking. Sometimes it will make the tracking a hundred times better and sometimes it will suck. It's like a sheet code in those older games. They make you super powerful or they make your PC crash. And voila, we know everything there is to know about tracking. We are tracking geniuses. Back to the tracking and the first thing I need to do once After Effects is done with analyzing is hover over the tracking points. And now I can see my target appearing. The next step is telling After Effects what our ground plane is. So I hover over the floor 
floor and look for a point where the target is completely flush with the floor. A tip, look for a spot near the place you want to add your new object. Here I will right click and choose the option set ground plane and origin. Now if I want I can also select multiple points at once by drawing a marquee selection box around multiple points, giving me sometimes a better target position. And now I can create a camera. Again right click on the same position as before, but now I choose the option create solid and camera. This solid isn't necessary, but it will let me see if my tracking worked. I can just scrub through my footage and if the solid sticks to the point I want, well, success. And now I can start by adding my elements. Like maybe I want some text right here standing on the street. I just use the text tool and type whatever I want. Then I make the text a 3D layer and it will already snap to my ground plane. With the position controls I can move it around to the spot I want, make it bigger and voila my text is standing on the street. But why limit it to text? I can also add new footage like these futuristic HUD elements. It's exactly the same principle. Now one last tip, if you want to track a shot with objects that interfere with your tracking, like a moving car for instance, just let After Effects know. However, you can remove tracking points on those moving objects. Every 10 frames, select the tracking points on that object you want to exclude and press delete. Easy as that. It will make your tracking better most of the time. Now it doesn't stop there. You can even export the camera tracking data from After Effects and use it in a 3D software like Cinema 4D, Blender, Unreal Engine, whatever you want to use. Now if you can't get enough of tracking stuff, definitely check out the video here on my left where I show you how to use a motion tracker in After Effects. Thank you so much for watching.